if you, if you take that back to Ed, and you can put in your hand and walk proud and erect through the high street. Thank you very much, Daniel Blake. Now, before we go on to our celebrity challenge, let's take a quick peek at this week's reviews. Each week, our reviews will be linked by a theme. This week, it's time to smear ketchup on your hot dog as we look at movie conversions. First off, on the Mega Drive, flex your pecs with postmodern icon Arnie in Terminator. It's actually a good game, it's very playable, nice big sprites, lots of exciting explosions and gung-ho action. There's a lot of uh, digitalised screenshots which are very impressive and if you had any friends around you could pose with it. For once it's a mega game that packs a real challenge. It's got, still got the great standard of graphics and stuff that you come to expect from the Mega Drive, but it's also got a very high standard of gameplay. <laughs> Next up, this week's late night movie is a macabre romp around your Nintendo with the Adams Family. For the youngsters, it's, it's a good game and it, it certainly would give you value for money in terms of playability because it's, uh, it's very addictive, but um, it doesn't really offer very much uh, original or new. The NES has a, a surfeit of good quality platform games. There's all the Mario games, there's DuckTales. So, uh, more really could have been done with the license than just another bog standard uh, NES platform game. And finally, butter your popcorn on the PC with Indiana Jones 4 and the Fate of Atlantis. It's a much more sophisticated game, much more superior graphics, and the depth of the story and the puzzling is all at a much uh, higher level. It's got all the makings of a Lucasfilm game, if you look at it, the, the attention to detail, the quality of the graphics, just the, the humorous touches and the sheer depth uh, are really quite stunning. There's a... Yes, we get the point. I'd just say it looks like one of the, uh, the best ever PC adventure games. <laughs> Now for this week's feature. George Bush does it, Prince William started to do it, Nuke is on the block, do it together, and so does Betty Boo. They all play their Game Boy. However, not content with merely owning the most pleasurable six inches of hardware money can buy, Game Boy owners are now customising their beloved handhelds. I took the skateboard grips, put it on it, because it makes holding it much more comfortable, your hands don't sweat so much and I put the essential Stussy sticker on there. I'm a toy collector, so I have loads of bits of toy and animation and colourful things. A Game Boy comes into this world naked, and it's just begging to be designed. It's crying out to be scribbled, drawn, smashed up, and designed all over. So, some sound advice on where to put your pennies. Now it's time for our celebrity challenge, and we'll go over to Games Master to find out what it is. Nice to see you again. I do hope you enjoyed my last little jaunt. Rather a competent player, wasn't he? For my second challenge this week, I thought I'd opt for a spot of football on Manchester United Europe. It'll be a game of two 90-second halves in which a talented Manchester United formation will pit themselves against the classic skills of Liverpool. I trust we'll all be treated to a display of exemplary games. And our two contestants trying to get the ball in the net tonight are Simon Reynolds from Bishop Stortford and his opponent, Wimbledon and England striker, John Fashionu. Yeah! 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 Now, Simon, first of all, I see you wearing a lovely Ipswich Town top, are they? I see you've brought all the supporters with you as well. Yeah. Is, um, is this your team or is it just a cruel joke? It is my team, yes. Well, my commiserations to you. What <laughs> kind of tactics will we see from you in the game tonight? Good, close, clean passing play tonight. Not a skill? Oh, yes. Well, yes, talking about definitely. your skill, we're now going to your opponent tonight, John Fashionu from Wimbledon. John, how are you going to play the game tonight? Well, I think, like Simon says, I think the crowd have come here to watch a nice, clean, enjoyable game. And <laughs> <laughs> being fair, really just what we want to do. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Right, well, we'll see if that all comes through. If you'd like to take your seats, lads, and then we'll get ready to kick off. And joining me in my newly converted pulpit dugout tonight 
From Software House Renegade, home of the Bitmap Brothers, Tom Watson. Welcome to Games Master. Good evening, Dominic. Now, what's the sort of basic skill you've got to master with Man United Europe game? Well, quite simply, it's passing. It's all about that, about being able to control the ball with a player and move on and find another man. OK, then. Are our two competitors ready? OK, then. John, kick off. Simon is in the white Liverpool 70s team, playing from right to left. Well, so Liverpool on the ball quite quickly. Simon got a tackle in straight away there. Uh, Rob That's going to be very important for this match. OK, Man United, Steve Bruce picks it up in midfield. Oh, all right. Oh, come on. Oh. That was a bit unnecessary, I think, Dominic. Surprise me, Simon. Surprise me. So Liverpool you. show Man United. Now, here, here we have the set-piece system. This is a uh, target which indicates where the ball can go from a set-piece. So John's put it straight forward. Straight to picked, crazy horse himself. Picked up by Emlyn Hughes. Emlyn Hughes picks it up right towards the Man United box. John does it, John does it, Rob Steve Hyder picks it up, he's got the bus, he takes the shot, oh, and it's super, Gary Bailey, so comfortable there. Gary Bailey flicks the ball out, jumps on his arm, he's got his angle there, oh, he's got the post! Oh, but the Man United defence is solid there. John's suddenly coming in tackling, but I think what both players have shown... Oh, and another foul. The referee didn't think that was uh, requiring a booking. The referee will second judge time. the severity of a tackle and oh, look at it in that situation, whether or not it's a foul or even a booking. Right, so lines up the free kick, powers the free kick in. Oh, and it's gone! Oh, John hits the post, he's off the bench. Oh. Now, John, can you get up the pitch? Steve Hyder takes it from edge of the money there, but he shoots! Oh, Gally! Excellent save. save. John really has to tighten up on his tackling. OK, John Carter kicking up in this field, kicking up towards the money there, but... Post again. Chris Royer gets the ball up, sends it to the middle again, Man United defence is solid there. Gary Powell's oh. picks up. Did they? Oh, no. oh, and there we go. The half time is still nil Still nil all. Well, it's all very tense here indeed. Simon appears to have been doing the most creative play, but John's tackles have been crunching. If you want to see how the match ends, tune back in after the break. Do you like to bug off? Time for our challenge. Can you sniff out a good deal? Then check out this special offer. Looks like he's bought some of his entire stall. Added errs. Yes, I'm promotion. Bargain hunt with added errs. What are you going to be looking for? Anything that makes Bargain hunt. This bargain hunt because it's got more errs. And what's your star bargain? Get errs. Bargain Available today at 2.35 on challenge. We've got hundreds of the latest books, CDs and in our two for £20 mix and match this Christmas at WH Smith. Fly your team to victory at Hogwarts. Then beat the best in the world at the Quidditch World Cup. Quidditch World Cup. EA Games. Why did I choose Diamond Car Insurance? Simple. Because Diamond was created for women. Diamond know that women's claims usually cost much less, and so they pass these savings back to me and you. Diamond customers say that they have saved around £125 on their car insurance. You can even buy it on the internet. So I get to spend more on the things that I really want. Girls, call Diamond now on 0800 36 24 36. That's 0800 36 24 36. Owning a conservatory, build one yourself with Baltic Pine and save a fortune. Craftsman made from beautiful seasoned wood, a Baltic Pine conservatory starts from just £995 and comes with a 15-year guarantee. Call Baltic Pine now on free phone 0800 269 044 or visit our website. This PC has high performance at 3.2 gigahertz at a speed of 400 megahertz. Buying a PC can be confusing. It has one at Dell, our experts speak a language you understand to help find the PC you're after. Like this Dell Dimension desktop with an Intel Pentium 4 processor. It comes with free double memory and 17-inch flat panel monitor at an amazing £799. The Intel Pentium 4 processor delivers performance where you need it most. So, going in circles or going direct? It's as easy as Dell. 
call 0870 152 4690 or go online now. How many of today's UK women choose the colour of Clairol? Four million every year. They all know whichever Clairol you choose, you'll find a colour that's true to you. Experts in colour, chosen by you. Clairol Colour Wonderful. Fed up with weights? With FreeServe Broadband you can go up to 10 times faster. You'll get a free modem, free connection and it's only $27.99 a month. And our money back trial means there's no risk whatsoever. Call FreeServe's package advice line on 0800 747474 now. Oh, it's good to be back. Back where I belong. Don't touch the camera, love. Hi, Sam. We're ready for you now. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I reckon? It's about time the audience saw another slice of pure fox. And here come the eels! UK G2 begins tonight at 8. Welcome back to Gamesmaster Stadium, where unfortunate Ipswich fan Simon Reynolds has taken on Wimbledon's John Fashioning. The score at the end of the first half was 0-0, but they hit the woodwork several times, so it looks like we're in for a cracking second half. OK, John Fashioning, of course, playing classic Man United, playing from right to left in the famous red strip. John Tasha plays a nice ball back there. Phil Thompson sends it out to the right wing, but there's nobody there. Man United, oh, Georgie Best picks it up, staying on his feet for once. John Fashioning under the cover, the end. I think Simon deserved that. Excellent shot by, there by the defender. Martin but picks the ball up, takes it up the right flank, moves it towards the centre, looking for a player up front. Is he going to pass? No, he takes it himself. He's got in the middle. He needs to pass, move that ball on. And there's the a player on there. Can he make it in? And he can. <laughs> oh, to hit the bar, to hit the bar from two yards. Really a lapse of concentration from John. Yeah, the slot hits the crossbar. Yeah. Oh, what punishment? What punishment? John Torshak, what an amazing counter attack oh. from this Liverpool 1970s team there. It's 2-0 and just look at the crowd now, Dominic. They really are enjoying this. And Fax for the boss was caught on the halt there. Man United, Dennis Law sends it back. Ryan Moxie what? picks it up. And, and Steve Bruce gets it again. Steve Bruce going up, up the middle of the park. He needs to move that ball forward. Oh! oh. Come on, come on! I think it may be getting to a, just a question of pride for John now. Get, getting on the score sheet. Stevie Bruce running up the middle of the park. He's looking for a man in space. It's not one. He's got to take it himself. There's a man in space to his left. He ignores him. He's running He's going up into straight the park. through. What can he do he with the shot? The shot uh, he the just taps into the goalkeeper. An awful waste. Ray Clemens long up. John Toshat sends it again. Again, straight to the goalkeeper. Uh, Simon must be very confident that he's going to take Liverpool to the victory in this match. Okay, Tommy Smith picks it up. Tommy Taylor losing the ball. Picked up. The Kevin Keegan. We haven't seen a lot of the match in the game. Is Congratulations, Simon. It was all it was all square at half time, but you let him have it in the second half, didn't well, you? Absolutely, yeah. We did a lot of research into how Fash played, and uh, he played into our hands in the second half. You know, the lads done great. Right. <laughs> now. John, you must be sick as a parrot. We well, obviously I'm a little bit disappointed. I think the crowd will bear with me. I think they thought it was a goal as well. Yeah. <laughs> it was obviously a controversial decision. You Just know, like the 66. You know, all the best. Need to be unhappy because he's missed out on the chance of our fabulous golden throbbing games master joystick. <laughs> So please put your hands together again for our winner, Simon Reynolds, and the gallant loser, John Fashion. <laughs> and now, each week, each week at this juncture of the show, we enter our consultation zone. If you have any problems with your favourite games, drop us a line about them, and we'll get your queries answered by the man who knows more than anyone, the Games Master. <laughs> Hey,
Hello, Games Master. Welcome to my kingdom. I am delighted to see you. And what have you got to ask me? On Sonic the Hedgehog, I heard there's a secret world on Act 3 of the Green Hill Zone. Could you please tell me where it is? I can't find it anywhere. Indeed I can, dear boy. Though I must admit to being a little surprised that you haven't found it yet. Work through the level until you reach a solid wall. Instead of bouncing over it, however, you can break straight through it by taking a run-up and spinning upon it. You will then be in a secret world where six of your rings and an extra life await you. Thanks very much. See you. Oh, oh, delighted. Next, please. Hello, Games Master. Hello, and nice to see you. Now, what can I do for you? In Elvira, I can't find the four-leaf clover I need for casting a spell. Where is it? Elvira does indeed require a modicum of ingenuity. The clover can be found at the base of the hedge on the way towards the falconer in the meadow. You shall now have all the ingredients you need for casting the propitious surprise spell. Oh, thanks. Uh, next, please. Hello, Games Master. On Sama's quest, I cannot get past Deborah Cliff. What advice can you give me? To get past the very large wall that is Deborah Cliff, you need to select the red crystal and then kneel down for about five seconds. A whirlwind will then appear which will whisk you across to the other side of the wall. <laughs> Rather ingenious, isn't it? Thanks very much. Bye. And I think that's enough little tidbits for one week. Heed my advice until we meet again. So, some juicy computer tidbits this week. Now for our final challenge, let's see what Games Master has planned. I thought an old-fashioned Wild West shootout would be a good way of ending the first show with a bang. The game, Mad Dog McQueen. In this little escapade, you've been deputized, and your mission is to rid the town of outlaws in order to deliver to freedom the town sheriff held hostage in his own jail. So get your pistol hammer cocked, and let's see those barrels blazing. To play this game, our contestant needs a steady aim for a quick trigger finger. We found him scouring the barren plains of North Wales looking for action. We've roped him in and he's here to play. Please flap your hands fervently for Tony Wright. Welcome to Games Master, Tony. Now, Tony, I look at you and the word mature springs to mind. Is there a gap in the market for the older games player? Well, the kids don't get a look in these days, really. I mean, a lot of people are going in there to use these machines as sort of stress relievers and so on. It's good after a hard day's work to unwind a bit. OK, well, I've had a hard day myself. Let's hope you relieve my tension, Tony. <laughs> if you'd like to step up to the firing range, sure. we'll get ready to play. And helping me co-commentate from the sidewalk is the editor of Computer and Video Games magazine, Tim Boone. Tim, welcome to Games Master. Hi, Dominic. Now, Tim, this is a very special game. Do we have a special challenger there? Oh, I think so. Mad Dog McCree sure, surely is a special game. It's a laser disc game in which the idea is to shoot as many of these mean varmints as you can with your, with your six shooter. You need to be on your toes all the time, always ready for the unexpected. And I think in Tony, we could have a contender who knows his stuff. OK, Tony, are you ready? Ready. Load your pistol and come out shooting. Howdy, stranger. We need your help. Mad Dog McCree's gang is taking over the town. The mayor and his daughter have been taken hostage out to Mad Dog's hideout. The sheriff, he's locked up in jail. We're going to have to get him out to help with the gang. Can you help? Good. Uh, one more important hey, thing. Hey, old codger! Don't tell him! There comes the first bad boy. Now this guy left his own devices with a blown turn here. Right? There's another one. Oh, my God. They're, as I said, they're coming thick and fast. They did. Very oh, that's good shooting, stranger. Yeah, what I was going to tell you is the keys to get the sheriff out of jail are with one-eyed Jack. And he's in the saloon drinking. Now go get him! You see, he picked up that man, even though he was very far away. They're coming from all over the place. Uh, oh, finish them off with another couple of bullets here, just to make sure. Yeah, now, this place is full of trouble. Apart from her, she's quite safe. Be careful, that's Mad Dog's boys over there. Looking at my keys, stranger? You wouldn't be trying to get the sheriff out of jail now, would you? Chaco! Uh -huh. Show him what we did in trouble. Oh my god! The trouble starts at the end Oh, and he's down too! The guys oh my god, they're the table, they're coming the at him! There he goes. Yeah. Oh, he's coming oh. at Shoot 
Okay, five out of five. He's now back off to the jailhouse to rescue the sheriff. No, Bad guys are plenty here. No, no, Tony, that was incredible shooting there. Was there any point in the game where you thought, this is a bit tricky? Well, it's never an easy, easy game, you know, it's always a bit difficult, but it was okay. Well, Tony, we've got very big news for you. To commemorate your famous shootout at the Games Master Corral, we'd like to award you our special coveted Golden Games Master Joystick. <laughs> And a round of applause again for Tony Rice! So, we kick off the series with three winners, but I have a feeling things are going to get a lot tougher. And now it's time for me to don my smoking jacket and have a refreshing cup of chamomile. So I'll see you again in seven days. Good night. There's more from the Games Master on Friday at 6.30. Next on Challenge is the show which just goes to prove that those celebrities are just like the rest of us. A whole hour of TV and movie outtakes coming your way after the break in bloopers. <laughs>